Have you got a package for me? What do you want? Anything, man. A PS5. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's go. Welcome to an episode of The Block Report hosted by yours truly, Flashy Silla. Now, if you're not familiar with The Block Report, I'm just on my block comfy, you feel me? On the park bench, giving you guys some music news on the UK scene. I'll give you guys my hot topics of the week, my hot take of the week, my hot picks of the week. With my hot picks of the week as well, I'll give you guys a selection of five to seven songs, which is my selection, you feel me? Not just the hottest tunes. And that could include a US hot pick and also an underground plug, which I could do weekly, depending on how good the music is. Now, before we get into it, shout out the 90s Baby Network, who hosted the first season of The Block Report, which was 10 episodes, which you can now view on their channel. So let's Let's go and stay tuned. Let's go. So let's start off with Nave Smalls and M Huncho's Project DNA, which charted at number six. Dizzy Rascal, E3 as fuck, charted at number 13. Gigs now will never chart at number 15. Wizkid also released his album, which is Made in Lagos, which charted at number 15 as well. K Trap released his album, which is Street Side Effects, which is a personal favorite of November, which charted at number 26. Lowski's album Music Trial Trauma, which charted at number 39, is another personal favorite of mine. Davido also released his album, which is called A Better Time, which charted at number 88. Frosty also released his debut project under surveillance which didn't chart but one of the singles on there did which was hate on us featuring double l's and band okay charted at number 84 and with the u.s albums that dropped in the uk and two projects that charted in the uk which was future and lil uzi's project pluto and baby pluto charted at number 39 and trippy red's project pegasus charted at number 79 so that's a roundup of november which was a very eventful month we also had abracadabra releasing his project product of my environment and whimsy with a very very solid project which was upper captain dream 2 we also had the female rap scene which was fire in November with Trillery Banks versus Nole and Miss La Familia with their clash going back to back and we also had the Tion Wayne and Heady One altercation which happened on the plane of course like I said we're not going to get into certain deals about certain topics because that's not my place to speak so you get me if you're here for certain topics I ain't going to speak on that let's get straight into the hot take of the week Right, so let's get into my hot take of the week. Now, if you're not familiar with the hot takes of the week, it can either be something that's happening in the present or it can just be a random hot take. So my hot take of this Block Report episode is the UK rap scene. Is the UK rap scene better now than when it was back then? And when I say back then, I'm talking more pre-2014 times. And the only reason why I'll say yes, the UK rap scene is better now is only because if we think about it, our classic hits like Talking the Hardest and Touch a Button and them hits there, they're covers, you feel me? Like, they're not our beats. Like, even though they're classics, like, that's nothing to take away from it. It's not our beats, you feel me? And I feel like now the UK rap scene, we're using our own producers, you feel me? We're using our own a rs we're using our own executive producers, we're using our own videographers. It's more packaged, you feel me? Like, it's more packaged, it's more, we're creating our own hits. But back then, it was just, you spit on a beat, if it's hard, it's hard, if it's not, it's not, you feel me? Like, let's not lie, like, back then, let's say around 08 to like 014, most men, 80% of men, were covering US beats, and it was mad it was just 80% of the scene was just US rap beats you feel me but now we're producing our own hits so that's my hot take of the week let me know what you think in the comments below get at me on social media as well and we'll go into the hot picks of the week bow Alright, cool, let's get into the hot picks of the week. This is my favourite segment of the show because I get to plug you guys on what I'm feeling in the scene right now. So, my first hot pick of the week, that goes to Abracadabra with Trenches. Now, before we get into that, I just want to say big up Abs, in it Because he's had the year, like, I think it's been his year. It's been his year, M24 and Unknown T. So, let's get into Abracadabra with Trenches. Let's go. Cause from the day we was born, we never had nothing. I turned nothing to something and now I'm something. And ain't nothing gonna stop me, I told you nothing. Now, my second hot pick of the week, that goes to M24 with Too Much Pride. Now, if you're familiar with M24, you know that he has an aggressive style when approaching Drill, but this one is something different from him. He's on a rap beat and, you get me, he's not even doing his little uh-uh ad-lib, like, you get me? So, <laughs> shout out M24 with Too Much Pride. Let's go. Too much pride. I find it hard to run, I've got too much pride. Can't ask for a favour, I've got too much pride. I can't let no beef, I've got too no. much pride. A16 is the dream of this life. Now my diamond's bright like a beam in the night. 
chilling overseas with my G's living life. Better hide your wife, she might be with me for the night. So my third hot pick of the week, let's slow it down a little bit. I've never plugged an R&B song on the Block Report, even in my previous episodes. But for this one, shout out my homie Manilio with Shoot. Let's take a look at that and I'll let you know what I think. Let's go. So that was my third hot pick of the week with Manilia Shoot. Now, if you're not familiar with Manilia, of course you should be with her hit Say Yeah, which was released earlier this year. She's recently just dropped her EP, which is After Six. Go check that out and let us know what you think. Let's go. So my fourth hot pick of the week, let's turn it up a little bit again. That's CGM with Rock and Roll. Shout out CGM, they've had a brilliant year in the UK drill scene as well. Let's take a look at that and I'll move on to the fifth hot pick of the week. Ammonia, baking soda, baking soda. Swing my hand trying to shave my order, watch a pig and roll over. Chest and up, can't go no low, hop out the ding dong and fling my shoulder. Bling. In a can like cola, make the phone line jumpy like soca. So my fifth hot pick of the week goes to the 98s. Of course, the 98s is Holly Street and Homerton with plugged in with fumes. Let's take a look at that and I'll let you know what I think. 98, that's my fucking number. Clip long that cucumber, make it rain, beat off that thunder. Hit ching that your fucking jumper. Ride that daily, we live in the field. Glide with the stainless steel. This whack ain't fake, it's real. I feed my bind with So the that was the 98s with plugged in with fumes freestyle. Now you see with the 98s, they've just dropped their mixtape as well called Class of 98, which is cold. I would definitely suggest that you guys go listen to that. So let's move on to the sixth hot pick of the week. Let's go. Assalamu alaikum. I'm fine, how are you? Yes, long time. So my sixth hot pick of the week that goes to Young's Teflon with Old Trafford. Let's take a look at that and I'll let you know what I think. Contraband and the CAR. Jake's trying to say him I was offside. Bust that case because of VAR. 350 strikes like a zebra. I went to the party just like a liveman. See him with me, that's my striker. Right on my side, but he never was a sideman. So that was Young's Teflon with Old Trafford. Of course, Tef just dropped his latest mixtape, Call of Duty 3, which is available to stream on all platforms. I think it's so cold. You guys go check that out and I'll move on to my underground plug of the week. So my underground plug of the week goes to Pabs with Backroad. Go check that out on Mixtape Manders. Let's take a look at the snippet and let's go. Wanna see that cash flow? So every time I step in the booth for my all in, cause I gotta let that cash go. Facts. The way cars buying these packs, coming like FIFA, moving like cash flow. So that's the block report done. Catch me weekly on Mixtape Madness where I'm gonna give you my hot topics of the week, my hot take of the week, and my hot picks of the week. Catch me weekly, man. Don't lack, man. Oh, also, shout out my podcast, Coldrick's podcast with my Ray and Torren. Also, shout out Flash God, which is my collective brand. Go check out my Instagram, Flashy Silla. Go check out my Twitter, Flashy Silla. Go check out everything, Flashy Silla. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Let's go. <laughs>